Are you Dex? Yeah. Listen, I don't know who you think you are by hitting my friend Brody, but you're not going to get away with it. No? No. Brody's the sweetest guy I've ever known. He's gentle and kind, and who are you, some greaseball tough guy on a motorcycle? Not for long. What? If I don't fix this by tomorrow, I'll be a greaseball tough guy on a bus. <laughs> well, either way, you're a big jerk and a bully, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Jerk. Okay. Okay. I get the message. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> see? When you hit my friend, uh, uh... Brody? Right. When you hit, uh... Brody. Right. Brody. <laughs> I've never seen you in school before. <laughs> we just moved here. Can you hand me that wrench? This one? Yeah. What's wrong with your bike? The truth? There's nothing wrong with it. But for some reason, I keep taking it apart and putting it back together. Like that's gonna change anything. <laughs> Stupid, huh? Not at all. I know just how you feel. You do? You know how it feels to watch everything around you fall apart and not be able to stop it? Are you kidding? Do you know how many times I change my clothes before I leave the house? <laughs> Sorry, I had no idea. So I guess it's hard being the new guy. I wish that was the tough part. You know, sometimes I wish... I wish I could just be 40, you know? With a wife, a kid, a dog, and a Dairy Queen franchise. <laughs> and not have to worry about stupid things but it all just gets twisted up inside and comes out wrong, and everything I touch breaks apart or turns ugly and dies. Wow, you're really tormented, aren't you? Let me guess. Friend of Brody's. That's right. So you can just put your pecs away, because that's not going to work with me. <laughs> okay, tough guy, I want some answers, and I want them now. You want some tea? No, I don't want any tea. It's herbal. <laughs> Look, I didn't come here for tea. I, I came here for... Answers. Right. Come on. I said no. It's chamomile. <laughs> well, okay, one cup. <laughs> Look, Jax, let me get to the point. Violence. Sorry, could you hand me the honey bear? <laughs> sure. You've read Camus? Yeah. I'm interested in alienation and the disintegration of culture. Really? Me too. I mean, alienation, but the disintegration of culture sounds really cool. <laughs> Have you ever read Howell? Howell? It's a poem by Allen Ginsberg. You read poetry? Why does that surprise you? Mostly because you ride a motorcycle and hit people. <laughs> Want to know what happened with Brody? Brody? Oh, yeah! Um, but what's the poem about? It's hard to summarize. Why don't I just read it? Okay, that'd be great. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness. Starving hysterical naked. Dragging themselves through the Negro streets at dawn looking for an angry fix. Angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo and the machinery of night. <laughs> All right, Dex. Whoa, is that a 1959 Gibson Les Paul Sunburst? <laughs> yeah. No way! <laughs> Here's your cappuccino. I guess cinnamon. Chocolate. Oh man. Why does this always happen to me? No, it's okay. You can just go get the chocolate. Yeah. Danielle. Brody, what are you doing here? Your mom said you might be here. I'll tell you, Danielle, this whole thing with Dex has gotten me really crazy. Brody, you need to calm down. You should... Go jog around the block right away and then, like, go home. I need to talk to someone. That's uh, a good idea, but, um, not here. This place is no good for talking. A coffee house? Why don't you go back to your place? 
Make us some coffee and I'll meet you there. <laughs> no, I just left my former friends, Beth and Dorfman, there. Just my luck. Look who's here. Listen, Dex, this isn't the place for this. Yeah? Then where would you go for a cup of coffee with your girlfriend? Dex, I wouldn't... Girlfriend? <laughs> Danielle, we have to talk about Brody. It's really, really important. Hi, Dex. Hi. <laughs> like your shirt. Thanks. Beth, I just said I like your shirt. Come on, you guys. There's no time for this. Brody's hurting. What is that, flannel? That's a rayon blend. Huh. Look, Danielle, we've all let ourselves be seduced. But even if Dex is a great guy and, like, an incredible kisser... <laughs> is he an incredible kisser? <laughs> is it worth losing our best friend? Oh, this is cozy. It's not what you think it is. I think you got in over your head and you're trying to save your butt any way you can. Okay, it's what you think it is. <laughs> I don't believe you guys. I thought you were my friends. Oh, forgive me! Of course, then you're embarrassing me. Imagine how I feel. Brody, what do you want us to do? Nothing. It's too late. So what are you doing here, then? I came here to punch someone's lights out. I don't want to fight you. Don't be stupid, Brody. Brody, this whole thing is ridiculous. You know how much gum there is under this table? <laughs> Shut up. Everybody shut up. All right, Dex. Let's take it outside. Take it outside? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody says take it outside. <laughs> well, hey, I don't exactly do this every day. What am I supposed to say? I don't know. Why don't you just insult his sister again? <laughs> what? You mean you knew about that? I thought I was the only one that knew. You mean you knew too? Yeah. Beth? Knew it. You all knew I started it? Yeah, Afraid I so. did. Well, why didn't someone say something? Well, we didn't want to humiliate you any more than you already were. You didn't think I was a jerk? Oh, no. We thought you were a jerk. <laughs> You're still your friend. Oh, yeah. Boy, do I feel like an idiot. You get used to it. <laughs> so, coffee's all around. On me. You don't mind? No, no. I don't mind. I am going to kiss you until your toes curl. Uh, no. Although I understand Grant looked really hot in his dress blues. Okay. Ask me another one. Why did the South secede from the Union? Um, wait, wait, I know this. Give me a hint. <laughs> because their agriculturally based economy was dependent on slave labor, and the South made a constitutional issue of... of... State rights versus federalism. So from their point of view, secession was an act of great patriotism. Wow. If you could kiss me to the SATs, I could go to Harvard. Come on, Danielle, don't be like that. How am I supposed to feel? Loved. This doesn't make me feel loved. Well, sometimes two people don't get to the same place at the same time. And I'm not ready yet. I'm trying to understand. Good. Because it's not like I'm rejecting you. It's exactly like you're rejecting me. So this is like rejection? <laughs> wow, this is how Brody feels all the time. I just think it would be better if we waited. Maybe you're right. How about now? Danielle, <laughs> it's weird, but you're important to me. That's weird? No, but because you are, it makes me nervous, okay? Because this time it means something. It does? Yeah. Okay. I can wait. I can wait. Now? Danielle. <laughs>